Cairo is rapidly expanding and has been since the late 19th century, with urbanization swelling the city well beyond the limits it set back then. Most of that expansion took place on agricultural lands, putting intense pressure on the natural environment. Take for instance Egypt's new ring road. It cuts through what was once fertile agricultural land, and that has brought a number of environmental challenges. What we see from the ring road is the new expansion that was completed about two years ago. It was expanded by around 100% its original size, passing over Dahab Island. As a result, the agricultural lands over which the road passed over were destroyed. The lands no longer have access to sunlight. Vegetation is being cleared to make way for concrete infrastructure, which is also having an impact on an area which has already experienced high temperatures. The presence of structures, whether buildings, streets or all these solid floors, traps heat from being absorbed and to move in its natural path, thus reflecting the heat back. Any urban place with roads and constructions, especially if it's highly dense, the temperature will increase. Urbanization is linked to increased temperature. The lack of urbanization and the existence of the original natural system makes the temperature closer to natural state. Egypt has a few green spaces as a large part of the North Africa country lies in the Sahara Desert biome. What has helped it survive for thousands of years is the presence of the River Nile, which penetrates the desert all the way to the capital, Cairo. Scientists say preserving the banks of the river in its natural state can help ensure climate stability. But many people are fearful if not well conserved, the country will head to a catastrophe. The climate is getting worse every year. Egypt is becoming like the Gulf. We will be like Kuwait, where the temperature is 50 degrees Celsius. Egypt is basically an agricultural country. Unfortunately, if we had increased the planting of trees and palm trees, the weather would have been much better than this. The temperature is difficult. If there's an old man on the road and he does not have a bottle of water, it's difficult for them. If there were trees, I could stand in the shade and rest. But there's nothing like that. Selected satellite images of various areas of Cairo show a changing environment. Trees cut down and green spaces demolished to pave way for roads and housing. A wrong move that scientists say will continue turning the city into an oven. Caroline B. CGTN.